Let us we will discuss multiplication of virus. This virus which are multiply in all living organism, so it is called as obligate intracellular parasite. So it has uh, two cycles there. Like one is a lytic cycle and other one is lysogenic cycle. So what is meant by lytic cycle, sir? It is also called as another name is there. That name is a virulent phase. Sir, what is meant by lytic cycle? The virus which attack like a T even bacteriophages is the T2, T4, T6 like a T even bacteriophages which are attack like a E. coli bacteria then lysis of the cell is called as lytic cycle is there. So it has a five stages is there. One is APBMR. Just I created one code is there. That is an A mean attachment, P mean penetration and B mean biosynthesis and M mean See maturation and arming relief. So it has a five stages is there. Then like the first one is what is there, you know, attachment is there. So see this is a bacteriophages is there. Already we know we are studying like a different different structures like a TMV and bacteriophages. Especially this bacteriophages, this is this part to here to here part is called as head and this part is tail is there. So these what happens are here, the bacteriophages, first one what is there, attachment is there. The bacteriophages which are attached in E. coli bacteria with the helping of tail fibers is there. In which places? Complementary receptor site places. The bacteriophages which are helpful like tail fibers which are attached in complementary receptor site in E. coli bacteria. So that is called as attached is there. Simply which are attached. That is called as attachment. The next one is there here sir. Penetration. So what happens are here, very simple, see slowly, this is up to here to here part is, head is there, the remaining part is what is there, you know, tail. So what happens are here, slowly the tail sheath is present, the tail sheath are contracts slowly, what happens, you know, the tail sheath are contracts is present, contracts slowly, then after what happens, you know, the remaining parts is what is there, you know, tail fibers and the tail sheath slowly which are entered within the cell wall to plasma membrane. So plasma membrane to slowly which has enter into the cytoplasm of E. coli bacteria. So what happens are here, the tail part which are entered within the E. coli bacteria, but remaining what is there, you know, captured part which are present in outside. So within the captured what is there, you know, DNA is there, this DNA slowly which are moving from capsid to tail, tail to which are entered within the E. coli bacteria. Then what happens are here, when this DNA which are entered within the E. coli bacteria, at that time this bacterial DNA are degenerated in that who are there only for phase DNA is present. So what happens are here, this bacterial DNA are degenerated within the E. coli bacteria only phase DNA is present. So, see, be careful, this slowly which are entered within the E. coli bacteria. So, the bacteria, which is that what happened, you know, phase DNA which are entered within the E. coli bacteria, like this process is there. But what happens are here, the captured part which are present in outside of the E. coli bacteria, that part is called as ghost. Except of capsid, the remaining part which are entered within the E. coli bacteria is there. So, that is called as growth, which, which is very, very important in neat examinations. So, what happens are here, slowly the phase DNA is entered within the E. coli, bac e. coli bacteria, so it is called as penetration. The next, what is there? Biosynthesis. It means, see, this phase DNA, slowly, which are multiplied, multiplied, and which is produced a lot of simple phase particles, and as well as capsid, and enzymes are produced within the E. coli bacteria. So what happens are different different caps are produced in some caps are produced in some places what happened you know caps are produced next uh, tail are produced tail fibers are produced DNA are produced like a total assembled parts are produced within the E. coli bacteria. So that is uh, what happened you know the process is called as biosynthesis. The next one is this uh, here very simple the next one is maturation. 
So what is mean by maturation, sir? Here very clear the assembled part also formed. These assembled parts are fused to form complete virion city. That complete virion city is called as maturation. Then after what happened, you know, see complete virions are produced within the E. coli bacteria. They are ready to move in outside. At that time, what happened? You know, these bacteriophages, uh, which is released lysogen enzyme. So these uh, phase bacteriophages, which is released lysogen enzyme, with the helping of lysogen enzyme, these bacterial cell walls are ruptured. So at that time, what happened? You know, these uh, bacteriophages are released in outside like this process a lot of bacteriophages which are released in outside the number of bacteriophages which are released in bacteria like that process is called as bust size spread. so what happened you know like this process is released in outside so this is a lytic cycle see what happened you know lytic cycle mean already we know when the bacteriophages which are attacked in E. coli bacteria, at that time the lysis of the cell is called as lytic cycle. See, it is in five stages is mostly important. That is an AP BMR is there. It is also called as virulent fetus disease there. Okay, let us, we will see. The second type is what is there, you know. Second one is a lysogenic cycle, we will see. Okay, let us, we will see the lysogenic cycle. Liked watching this video, like, comment and subscribe.